Peace YouTube. Today is probably like, I don't know, the 50th day or whatever of my hip saga. I'm ready to just tell the doctor to amputate this leg. Jeez, it's giving me so much pain. However, today is a good day because I think that we may have finally found a contender for Tool. I don't know yet, but I have heard some of their music before, and I have actually enjoyed checking out their live performances as well. Granted, I did that quite a while back, and it's been forever since I've even heard anything from these guys. And Tony Bourne, thank you so much for buying me this coffee. Mm, I really needed it. Also, if anybody or anyone out there has any requests that they would want to see me react to, please comment. It would mean the world to me. And also, you don't have to by any means. However, coffee is not cheap these days. Neither is about anything. So, if you would like to get moved up on the request list or whatever, then I will attach a link to the Buy Me a Coffee so that you can get your request moved up the list. Tony, this one's for you, man. And I'm about to give Opeth closure a chance. Heal myself. Okay, right off the bat, I am absolutely loving the acoustic stuff, and the harmonies and the vocals are just amazing. <laughs> it sounds like freaking Simon and Garfunkel, but in the best possible way. Okay, let's get back into it. signature that's in. loving freaking loving that off time signature with that riff that riff is amazing on an acoustic no less Although that transition right there wasn't the smoothest. I mean, they played it flawlessly. However, 
I just felt it made it kind of feel out of place in the song and it it didn't transition that well. However, I'll just keep listening to see if it transitions back. In helpless prayers of all the song. I come clean, I've forgotten what I promised. In the rays of the sun, I am longing for the darkness. Okay, they were able to keep the flow of the song in there. It's just that I didn't really care for the abrupt stop in the about the midway through to transition and just cut it to vocals and the acoustic, but that's just my taste. I very, very, very am much in loving the song though. I would actually like to know these guys' influences because to me it sounds like they've got some heavy like Iron Butterfly or something from the 70s influences because the, so the sound that I'm hearing is very, very reminiscent of that time period with the harmonies and everything, but we'll see. Been going to therapy, it really has helped me. That was good. That was actually very good. So now to my final analysis and it's go against tool. Okay, musicianship. Right off the bat, these guys are talented. They are very talented. The um, acoustic and the electric were both transition fine and I really enjoyed it. The lyrics I haven't really had a chance to dive into yet. However, I heard some stuff in there that was actually very cool. So, and I don't want the Opeth fans out there to chastise me too much, but I believe that I will put the musicianship at like a B plus or something around there, possibly even up to an A minus. So I'm saying like 88 to 90. And yes, I have checked out a live performance of theirs probably I would say about a year and a half ago or something around there. So variance, that's going to be a little tough for me to grade just because I have, as I just mentioned to you earlier, I've only seen one show of theirs and it was a live performance and I heard the electric guitars and all then, but I, I in all honesty, hadn't really heard them an acoustic in their set until just then in this song. So that was actually really refreshing to hear. So I would give them a B plus just for variance alone on that. Evolution is going to be difficult for me to score too, just because 
I really just don't know much about these guys. However, this song has certainly made me want to go check out some more Opeth, though. So, they'll get a solid B for Evolution from me. Now, I'm not sure whether or not that these guys are quite good enough for me to explain what the hell the Da Vinci Code is yet, but I will try soon, I promise, to explain what it is in my scale. Who knows, maybe I'll explain it during my tool reaction to Hush. So, if you've taken the time to watch this video all the way through today, then please, please, please feel free to go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel, please. So, my final analysis today is that these guys really are no tool. However, I will certainly be checking out more. And Tony, thanks again for your recommendation, man, because that was a good one today. Also, if you guys out there want to buy me a coffee, please go to the link in the description and I will certainly move your whatever you're wanting to request that I react to up to the tippy top. That's it for now. Peace, YouTube.